This is the Sihu S300. It is one of the most unique and feature-packed chairs I have ever reviewed on the channel. When TW reached out to us last month if he wanted to review it after sending us pictures, I was really excited because, I mean, just look at it. It looks like a cross between a Terminator that's about to kill you and a cockpit seat for a Robotech Verotech. You can see a lot of thought went into the unique ergonomics this chair can provide. As someone who sits on the Herman Miller Aeron and tried the Korean T50, this S300 offers things which neither have. These things are however a double-edged sword and serve to be a plus and negative in my opinion. So what are you doing activated windows? Mo? Well, lucky you! Pinakabago mula sa cdkeyoffer.com Windows 10 and Windows 11 activation, activation codes. Legit, safe, at pinakamura. Madali lang umorder. Hanapin ang Windows version na gusto mo. Piliin ang preferred payment method. Wala pang 5 minutes, may cdkey ka na para sa Windows mo. Marami na kaming natulungan. Dati, sad and depressed ako. But now, I found the love of my life! Dati, aimless and walang purpose ang life ko. But now, I'm a world-class Zumba instructor! So, web developer ako and content creator for a YouTube channel. And ngayon, ganun pa rin ako pero activated na yung Windows ko. Kaya ako naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software. Check out cdkoffer.com. Check out cdkoffer.com. Check out cdkoffer.com. Hi, I'm Rafael from Hardware Sugar, the only computer shop in the Philippines with no BS warranty, and you have landed on one of our chair reviews because gaming isn't as fun without one. Today's chair is from Sihu, a company whose chairs I have reviewed quite positively in the past. But this one is the biggest showstopper yet when it comes to just looking at it. In terms of design, you have an aluminum body frame with a plastic bucket seat. It is instantly noticeable that Sihu attempted to replicate the same bucket seat design of the Aeron, which has these raised signs followed with a mesh seat and backrest. Recurring motifs of shiny metal and matted black plastic makes this scream premium, yet also draws attention to itself through its visible exoskeleton in which you see the lumbar support protruding from the sides. The wheels, however, are still not rollerblade casters, something which I have said for years should be the standard wheel so as to protect your floor and provide a great roll. I'll leave a link to these in the video description if you are interested. Overall, looking at the chair from afar just makes you want to sit on it and play with it and by gosh, will you be tinkering with this chair's options for both fun and dialing in your comfort zone for quite some time. Appearance-wise, it is a conversation piece and something which stands out even more so than the Aeron chair, which is much more expensive than this. I have never seen armrests like this before. Yes, they go up and down, swing from side to side, but they also move inward, while at the same time allowing the elbow rest to move in angles which are simply not possible in all or most of the chairs out there. I mean, just look at what you can do with this. These armrests alone got me playing with them for days, trying to see if there would be an angle in which the left and the right would differ in angle and position for better gaming and productivity. But the most unique feature of them all is that you can even simultaneously raise up the elbow rest several degrees upwards. I'm not even sure what purpose this will serve, because I'm a believer that ergonomic comfort can only be achieved if my arms are leveled with that of my desk. Any unnecessary raise will cause pain in your wrist and your elbow for extended periods of time. Unfortunately, I am not happy with a few things. First, the height of the armrest can only be adjusted by carefully lifting them up and waiting until you find the right height you want. You'll hear a click once it reaches any kind of level. If you go too far, however, then they simply just collapse all the way down without reaching any level at all. It might take you a few times for you to finally get both arms at the same height. It isn't a deal breaker, but it is an annoyance. Second, although the arms are most definitely the most versatile I've seen on a chair, they are also too sensitive and move when I don't intend them to. Every time I get up, I purposely tell myself to be careful so as not to engage them. If you're the type who doesn't like tinkering, once you've found your comfort zone, putting things back to the way they are quite often is an annoyance after you've found what works for you. 
The foam pads of the armrests are also similar to most Sihu chairs I've reviewed, and they are most definitely durable, but they are on the firm side. I much prefer the Aerodynamic EHC 420's armrests over the S300's, or even the Aeron's, which has similar padding but is of course more bouncy and more expensive. The back support is articulated by two wings, which activate when you sit. They come from the right and left side, and you can definitely feel that this is one of the most noticeable physical sensations of this chair, which sets it apart from what you feel when you sit in other chairs. It feels like the chair is attempting to wrap around your body so as to cradle you like a person hugging your waist. The problem is that I care more about getting support at the very center of my lumbar, which this back support system avoids completely. Siho has another chair called the C300, which has a reactive lumbar pillow, which I prefer much more than this because it supports the very center of my lumbar. Important to point out, however, is that not everyone likes having something pushing your lower back forward. Anton absolutely hates this type of support, and I think others like him might find these side wings more comfortable. Again, there is no chair which will meet everyone's personal comfort zones, and so others might prefer this while others won't. I would prefer the basic lumbar pillow of the Seagull M57. However, from an aesthetic level, it is kind of cool to look at and is one of the aspects which makes the S300 interesting to look at to begin with. An annoyance which I notice is that my shirt tends to lift up because of the lumbar wings and I find myself having to reach back to pull it down every now and then. I can see that because the wings attempt to embrace your lower back, that your shirt or suit, depending on if you'll be using this at the office, will get more crumpled. For home use, I'm pretty sure you won't care all that much. Speaking of back support, why don't you support Hardware Sugar by hitting that thumbs up button and the subscribe button. It would super duper help us out. The headdress design is genius. Unlike some chairs where there is no headdress at all or the headdress itself is too low for your height or ones which require you to stand up to adjust, this one allows you to adjust the headdress simply by pulling on it to bring it up or down. If you prefer to work without one, then just bring it down to the minimum level. It is there if you need it and not if you don't, with absolutely no effort at all. I would like to nitpick, however, that pulling it up has a rather loud click, which to me sounds cheap rather than that premium click if there is ever such a thing. Other than that, however, the headrest works well, especially when you recline. Sihu offers some of the best reclining features in the local chair industry. It is fantastic to put your feet up with it. I feel confident that the overall chair is very sturdy and won't collapse, unlike some other chairs which I have noted in the past which are just plain dangerous to use. There is even a footrest which you can pull out. I am, however, not a fan of footrests in general regardless of whoever made the chair. And, and so I can't comment on this other than the fact that it is also mesh and carries the same design elements of the rest of the chair. As you can see, the chair is covered in well-knit mesh in order to guarantee breathability to keep your cool in our tropical climate. I have never endorsed fake leather chairs because they pulverize quite quickly. Sihu chairs are known for having durable mesh and this does not disappoint. In all probability, this will stand the test of many, many years. It may not be the same carbon weave as the Aeron chair, but for a much cheaper chair, it isn't bad. And from afar, the combination of mesh and aluminum makes it quite an attractive chair. You can also adjust the length of your seat depending on how large you are. The purpose of this is to aim for the creation of a chair which aims to be a one-size-fits-all chair, thus the ridiculous amount of customization offered. The controls are all found in the lower right section of the chair. You can lock the recline in place and there is a helpful Sihu chair video for you to watch which will make learning the ins and outs of adjustability very simple. Now let's get into price. At 30,000 pesos, even before the age of inflation, this is jaw-dropping. I have no way to sugarcoat this price. The same way the official local supplier of Herman Miller can't sugarcoat the 36,000 pesos offer a sale chair which is extremely basic compared to what the S300 offers. Or the 73,500 price tag on an Aeron chair which does not have the option for a headrest. Except of course if you buy the Atlas headdress, which is an additional 12, 15,000 pesos. So definitely this chair is marketed to those who have a big budget to spend on an ergonomic chair, but not so much of a budget that he or she needs to buy a branded chair. Sort of like how a person would settle for a Toyota 86 rather than a Porsche 911. Both look good, hope to achieve the same purpose, but are worlds apart in price. Despite that, there are markets for each of them. If you were to ask me though, for what you get, 
better value for your money can be found elsewhere within the Sihu chair ecosystem. While it is a very attractive chair and a conversation piece, I do not find the lumbar support comfortable. Again, I prefer something directly supporting my lumbar at the center like the Sihu M57 or the C300 does or the Aeron. I realize that I don't like being supported from my sides. It feels a little weird and the mesh can occasionally feel a little prickly because of how intimate it is because of its attempt to hug you. I also dislike it very much that my shirt is slightly being pulled up when I sit down, thus causing me to pull it back down every now and then. The armrests are also finicky and would be more premium and justifiable of this asking price if they were not so delicate when it comes to activating their positions. Again, the chair is a smart piece of design by offering the kitchen sink of adjustability from headrest, seat pullout, insane reclining angles, and a winged lumbar support. The problem I see is that it may have been too ambitious and that this looks more like a V1 type of chair and I would be more excited to see what a version 2 would be like which would iron out the kinks in order to truly achieve the premium price this chair is demanding. However, if you're like Anton and you actually prefer getting supported by your sides and wish to have the absolute highest level of customizability, less a more premium sound and stiffer parts, then be sure to check this out, the Sihu Doro S300. I do, however, would recommend the M57 and the C300 more on a personal level. Let me know in the comment section below what I missed out on and if there are any other chairs you wish us to review. Paminsan, may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted, yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron. Kami. Full service PC store ang Hardware Sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up-to-date yung inventory dun. Kung in-stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days magkita tayo sa shop.